I'm Richard, Head of Trading here at CTR. And I just want to give you a quick rundown on, on, on where I see the markets at the moment. It's been a, been a week or so since I, I, I last put something up. Um, it's been a fascinating last 10 days trading. Uh, I've been saying for months that, that the whole world, the whole market was sitting massively short with dollars um, since October, November. The, the, the rally through 120 back then, three or four months ago, was key and it gave everything uh, a shift in that direction. We saw dollar weakness against sterling, Swiss, um, yen, Aussie, Kiwi, Canada. And that's been the way of it over the new year, the start of January, all the banks were saying, sell dollars, make money, easy. Obviously things are never as simple as that. When, when the whole market gradually finds itself so overdone in one particular way, you know, long or short, things slow down and quite often you need a clear out. It can't just keep going in that direction. Things have to, it's never as simple as that. Um, over the last 10 days we saw a massive rise in the US 10 year. Um, this gave us some major dollar buying across the board. And Euro dollar went from 123 back through 120, down to 119.50 I think. A lot of people have been cut out. A sensible place for a stop was just below 120, 119.80 or whatever. The market is no longer anywhere near as long as Euro dollar as it was um, two weeks ago. The same as sterling. Um, we saw it down, probably down at 136 on that, on that, on that dollar rally. Um, Aussie, Kiwi, Canada, they all moved together. They all done the same. People were caught. Um, everyone was long of Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, short of dollar CAD, especially once it went through 130. Um, and the, the rally in the dollar last week would have hurt a lot of people. And a lot of people would have been cut out of their positions. Um, it, it was a horrible squeeze. Gold as well, done exactly the same, back down to 117.60, 70, something like that. Um, as we know, the whole world's been long of gold for an awful long time. So, a lot of these stale, tired positions have now been cut out. And the price action since then says to me that we are now back on track. Um, over the coming months, I can just see more dollar weakness. Um, that, that, that move was a totally false break. Um, people get paranoid about, oh, it's the, it's the banks putting it you know, trying to trigger stop losses and stuff. That's that's rubbish. You know, the fact is there were more sellers than buyers and um, Euro dollar went down. Um, there's no, you know, there's no big scam going on. Don't get paranoid about, you know, what the move was. Um, bank traders were, cut, were caught out just the same as, you know, a lot of retail guys were. Um, but the outlook for the coming couple of months, to me now, it looks more dollar, dollar weakness. Euro dollar, 123, 125 on the horizons. Sterling, surely he's got to test 140 sooner or later. Aussie and Kiwi are holding up very well. They're not too far away from their actual um, highs now. So um, it, it, it's all looking the same with it. Dollar Canada, a bit, surely we're gonna to touch 125, see what happens there. Oil, oil is a machine. Um, you know, with what's gone on, over last year with oil, now we're not too far away from 60. We broke through 50, pretty much no problem, and since then it's been one-way traffic. Um, so everything just points in that direction. Um, just my thoughts, and um, safe trading.